What I'd like to talk to you about is a completely new way of recording and replaying music which we've given the working title of Living Sound to. So, what's different about Living Sound? Well, with ordinary recording techniques, the aim is to take you to the recording venue. This could be a special recording studio with a sound that people like, like Abbey Road, or it could be a concert hall with a sound that people like. Living Sound has a completely different model. We aim to bring the musicians into your living space. Right, Living Sound will benefit the music companies, musicians, equipment manufacturers and the listeners. In fact, nobody loses with Living Sound. So what will Living Sound sound like? It'll sound exactly as if musicians came into your house, sat down and started playing their instruments. It'll sound different in different rooms because that's exactly how real musicians would sound if they came into your house. So what's the market for Living Sound? Pretty well everybody in the world, or at least everybody in the world that listens to music. Um, like most innovations, uh, it will start off at the high end. The audiophiles, the people who really want to pay money to listen to exceptionally good quality music. From that position, it will slowly filter down over a period of probably decades to the general public until Living Sound becomes the method by which mo most music is recorded. So what is it that makes Living Sound appropriate for today? It's the fact that Living Sound will require about 50 gigabytes for a one hour recording of music. A decade or so ago, this was impossible. It's now easy. Um, we believe that a one hour recording could be sold to our target market initially for around 40 pounds because it really does sound better. There's one aspect of Living Sound in which we're going to be going completely against the herd. Um, the way music works today is what I call disposable music. Music that's um, produced by producers rather than musicians. Compressed music, streamed music, music that's auto-tuned. Living Sound is going to be produced by musicians and it's going to be produced on a physical medium. So who benefits from having a physical medium? First of all the musicians. They would be guaranteed to get a royalty from every unit they sell. Um, secondly, the equipment manufacturers. Uh, they will be selling new equipment and they will be continuing to sell new equipment for many years to come. Thirdly, the listeners. The listeners will have a completely unique listening experience for which they're prepared to pay. And finally, the music companies will do well out of it as well because they will have greater profit and protection against music piracy. There will always be a market for real audio files. People want the best possible quality of music. At the moment, these people are going to the markets for things like black vinyl and valve amplifiers because they imagine somehow that the soul of music is embedded within these old-fashioned things. In fact, it's not. But the soul of music could be embedded in living sound, which will actually give them music which sounds like nothing they've ever heard before. For those interested, a full business plan is available on our website. We're looking for £250,000 for 30% of the equity of the business. The main features, features of the plan are a product with clearly audible benefits on first hearing, a management team with a proven record of growing electronics, entertainment and engineering companies. We have a worldwide market of enthusiasts who are grasping for something new and real in music recording. We have testimonials from professionals in the music industry which currently lacks a luxury brand for recorded music. We have a strong patent position. We have experimental recordings and equipment ready for demonstration to any interested parties. Exit will be either by sale of the business or by future round of investment in the business with an established potential for substantial earnings.